Uh, how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about the review of the Halo WC AFFA, but first I got dodge that Spartan charge like a boss and show you how awesome this kills. Oh wait, yeah I'm recording this through theater mode and I couldn't help it every time uh, that clip happened it would cut to somebody else for point of view for whatever reason. And so yeah you get to miss out, but I dodged that Spartan charge like a freaking boss and I got the perfect kill on so I just feel like it was just like an awesome domination move on this guy. So this was actually the very first match I played in Halo WC free for alls. Uh, if you don't know how this free for all differs from other free for alls, uh, mainly that they remove the power weapons off of the map for the most part. There are a few extra weapons like a carbine or you might find like a bolt shot. Um, but no full autos or anything like that and it's really all about like your gun skill in this place Which is actually gonna be really nice. It's one thing I actually kind of like about free for all and honestly I think that moving forward they should focus that kind of gameplay when it comes to free for all um, This mainly because I found like the cat the standard level free for all that came with the game was It was just it about it, it was not balanced well enough for free for all because uh, you know, if you spawn next to the rocket launcher, well, you're gonna start off really well with like at least four kills, probably. <laughs> and so, with this uh, version of free for all, they removed most of the pop drop uh, weapon pickups in the game. There are still a few, like I said, but uh, they really reduced them. Look at that guy! <laughs> I forgot you gotta use that lag spike strafe, man. That thing is deadly. <laughs> But yeah, uh, so I bet if I could give a go and try to get my rank up in this place, which I recently just live streamed that. I got my rank in the free for all place and got to Diamond 2. Uh, but it was the roughest road to Diamond 2. Oh my god, because, well, since this playlist is, uh, well, kind of designed to be a little sweaty, but really. Not necessarily like the gameplay itself is sweaty or anything. It's just that like it's designed to be the most fair way to play free for all in my mind, as and that's pretty much what the, the community thinks as well. And it just kind of lends itself to more sweaty players because it just kind of eliminates the randomness of pickups and power ups for the most part. And just uh, look at that was using that lag spike strafe to his advantage, but I still got him. I still got him. <laughs> Uh, there are usually about every map though there usually is one power up that spawns up actually there are only two maps in this playlist there are regret and uh, truth that's it just those two maps so this map this place can get rather repetitive but it is a great way to get your shot back uh, I'm after watching all this MLG Halo awesomeness playing around recently I've been really into playing Halo 5 and trying to actually get back back to being good at the game. Because uh, before I was gonna play real casually, whatever. By the way, this streak right here, I go rather off at towards the end of this game right here. I just took the lead. I was down by like, at some point in this game, I was down by like 13 kills or something like that. And I come back and I take the lead right now, which is freaking awesome. This guy's trying to take the OS. I'm like, nah, dog, back smack you. I'll let you burn that OS. And I come over here to this guy. I'm like, what are you doing? You're shooting bolts at me? No, oh, yeah, sit, 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 sit down right there. <laughs> Uh, and look at this guy. Oh, yeah, you just got disappointed. That's what you get for using a Spartan charge there, son! Mm. But yeah, so, uh, free-for-all, the Halo WC free-for-all is actually a great way to get your shot back because you get put into so many gunfights and, uh, depending on the skill level you get put into, you really, uh, get matched up against, uh, actually rather well-skilled players, but trust me, when I was getting my rank, uh, it was a rough road. So. I'll show you. I'll show you in this video why. Because this first match, you know, you walk around, you see me. I'm walking around, kicking ass, doing awesome. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm like, wow, Halo WC FFA is really fun. I'm really enjoying myself. I've won my first game with what 42 kills, I'm like 42 and 13. I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling real positive about myself. Let's jump into the next match and see what we can do. I'm really enjoying myself. This is gonna be great. Can't wait to the next match. But uh, the next match, not exactly in my favor because I actually get teamed, I get placed up against an actual Halo Pro from Team Reciprocity, Mick Wynn. No joke, he's in this game right here. And you can definitely tell he's in the game because um, I go from going foot 42 and 13 to I think going like 8 and 30 or something ridiculously horrible. Because this game's like, oh, so you won your first match. That's great. How about you play against the best players of Halo? <laughs> and so, the, I've noticed that basically the um, 
the way the matchmaking works, for you, at least for your placement match, is that it will slingshot you real hard uh, depending on how you place. So if you get first place, I go, okay, let's place you against some champions. <laughs> now, I'm definitely not champion level player. Um, so, it, but at least it gave me the opportunity, right? That I came across multiple Halo pros while playing this place, like Miguel and uh, um, Munoz. I think that's how you pronounce his name for the uh, one of the Mexican pro teams as well. And he was like, and I got teamed against another guy who was like top 14 in the free for all in this playlist. Like, I I will admit I'm not that good, but it's just it's so demoralizing when you get placed against these guys so often. And not only that, but also high tier Onyx players and champion players. Oh yeah, it it was. It was rough, and I live streamed me gaining my rank in this playlist, and it was the most rage tastic live stream I've ever had in my entire life. I've never raged so hard at video games since I was like playing Modern Warfare 2 back in like 2009. <laughs> like it was, it was, it was something else for sure. Uh, but so basically, what will happen the way the, the placement matches will work for free for Halo uh, WC free for all is that you'll win a match and they'll slingshot you up really high try to see how well you do against like literally against champion level players and you get your ass kicked they'll bump you down a little bit so maybe some onyx players and some diamond players and if you finish top three they'll bump you up against playing against you know champion level players again and if uh, that doesn't work out for you they'll bump you down again and again um, i mainly found the only fair matches that i was really coming across was really like uh, when I was getting matched against uh, like diamond and platinum players, which is I would generally say is probably my skill level right there. And after placing my ten matches, I actually placed in diamond two for the free for all. Which actually, when I think about it, it's not that bad. But my God, it was rough. By the way, my my screen went gray black right there because I'm not gonna show the entire gameplay of me playing against Mick Wayne and these other champion level players because. I don't know, I mean, maybe you'd want to see me get destroyed over and over again. Or I think I get, watch, watch, watch Mick Wen right here. Completely outplay me. I hit him with a new combo and Mick Wen just completely times exactly when he gets shot. Spartan charges off to the le his left and just wrecks me. That, that's what it's like playing against high tier players in this uh, playlist. Which will be very easy if you can finish like at least top three. Or once, maybe twice, they'll play against <laughs> champion level players. But uh, now that I got my rank, I'm assuming I'm going to be coming across a lot more fair matches, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to continue on with this playlist and uh, see how it goes. But yeah, the way this also this works is that uh, it does. It's there's no kill limit with this free-for-all playlist. It's uh, whoever has the most kills after 12 minutes of gameplay. And I've noticed sometimes, there was a couple matches where people would just quit out when they know they have no chance of winning. Uh, there was one match where it was just left down to the three of us, and that was it. So I was like, oh, sweet, we, I get a rank. That's awesome. I can rank up in this game. Um, but uh, I didn't really notice uh, people quitting out too much. Uh, so, you know, apparently it's a, a, an issue if you're at the higher tier level gameplay. But uh, from what I, my experience, it wasn't really that big of an issue. And plus, it's, like, it's just like a great playlist to get your gun skill back. Because you're going to get put into so many gunfights. And... And I mean so many as in a lot of gunfights, more than you can handle. And you can see in this gameplay, it was definitely more than I can actually handle. <laughs> and uh, also the uh, the radar works totally differently in this one compared to your standard rank matches. It uses the HCS settings, or I should say Halo WC settings, where you only show up on the radar if you sprint, use a Spartan ability, or shoot. If you're walking at normal speed, you can see in the map, lower left hand corner of my mini map right there for the radar, I'm, my arrow is not showing up, meaning that I'm not showing up on the radar. So it allows, definitely allows for much more free movement, and so people don't end up duck walking around the whole time. They'll actually move around and you know, you know, try to get kills. So I don't really come across too many people. I mean, maybe obviously once or twice, people kind of camping in a corner because they don't really know what they're doing. But you don't need to crouch. You just need to you know, walk normal sp speed. It'll be great. Now I would like to see maybe like a 10% boost in the normal walking speed in uh, this play and it's just because like it feels like you're moving so slow when you're going at normal walking speed because uh, you know, obviously you're designed to be sprinting when you're not uh, shooting anything pretty much but uh, overall like it's been it's been a grind very rather frustrating to get where I'm at right now but now that I have my rank I'm looking forward to kind of grinding my way up against uh, fair matches to see how that turns out and I'll give you guys a second review after uh, I get a few more matches in with this playlist but hey give it a go it's really fun a new fresh take on 
Hey, uh, playing Halo, look at it. Boom, yeah, single digit kills like a boss. And guess who won? Yeah, it was McWin, because, you know, he's kind of a professional Halo player, and this is his job. My job is a 9 to 5, so I don't have, I don't have any competition in it there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to check out more videos like this, please make sure to tap that subscribe button. This is you know you want to see some more content like this. Comment below what you guys think about the playlist. And um, if you guys can play against any Halo pros, what your strats are, because trust me, I need some help. <laughs> and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.